Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest tonight from the National Treasure and Hangover movies. He now stars in The Good Fight. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. Morello. Always a pleasure. Likewise. The government asks the defendant be detained pending trial, both as a flight risk and a danger to the community. Seriously, Seriously what, what kind of danger to the community? With no record. No, I seem to have struck a chord over there, Your Honor. Yes, idiocy has a way of doing that. Okay, thank you. Little cordiality here. Please welcome Justin Bartha. <laughs> I, like, I like the summertime, no sun. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, man. I'm such a huge, huge fan of you for years. Oh, well, thank you very much. I've been a fan of yours since National Treasure. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And I, uh, I look forward to, and good luck with the presidential run in 2020. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. You're just considering it. If you I'm have just, any openings, I'm just saying, I'm oh, come considering on. it. Thank you very much. Steven, Steven. 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 Are you happy? Are you happy? I mean, you would make I gotta a great... Talk to my... I got to talk to my wife. Uh, I got to pray okay. with my spiritual advisor, of obviously. Course. Yeah. I mean, you would make a great POTUS. I do think that. Well, you might make a good, hold on, you might make a good uh, I mean, uh, Speaker of the House. I mean, maybe. If you I'll have any room why. on your administration, I would be honored. Well, here's the thing, is that yes. I have found out that uh, you look a lot like Paul Ryan. I've been told that to. I don't yeah. see it. No, you do. Well, I do see it okay. because uh, here's this. I believe you actually you helped make this. Well, that's okay. my headshot, actually. Okay, this is your headshot uh, yep. on the. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Hold on. Yep. This is. This is. Okay. No. Yep. Paul Ryan. Sure. That's pretty good. Thank you. That's pretty good. I mean, I see a little. You know what's cr what what is so disturbing to me about this picture? For a lot of things are, but. He is so, he's so much, he's in such better shape than I am. He's so jacked, which is, I mean, it's taken so long to find an alternative to Obamacare. He spent so much time at the gym doing curls, mm -hmm. I think. And you're an actor. I know, I'm supposed to look that good, but I could yeah, never Yeah, that's do why that. I stopped acting. <laughs> Because you can't look as good as Paul Ryan. Yeah. Now, you're, uh, as I said, like, I first got to know your big break was in National Treasure. Yeah. Um, uh, it wasn't was it an honor to be in a movie that educated the American people about their history so, <laughs> so accurately. I have had kids come up to me and say that they watched it in school, <laughs> which is so. That's a substitute teacher. It, I hope. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, it was like a dream come. I never, in my wildest dreams, thought that I would be in a big Jerry Bruckheimer. Uh, was that really your first big big film? I don't, that was my second movie that I was ever in. Mm -hmm. The first movie I did was a huge bomb called Geely that... Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> big fan. Yeah. That's, that's, well, Justin, that's all we have time yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically what the country said, too. <laughs> Uh, and that's more people than saw the movie. So. so, what was it like to be like of this thing that was such a? I mean, it was nerve. It was nerve wracking for the most part. And I, uh, there was, the, there's this. Uh, I was nervous all the time. I mean, it's it's Bruckheimer and Nick Cage. Well, your character's kind of nervous. Yeah, exactly. Nice so I was just playing myself, yep. and I was just trying not to mess up. Uh, and one time, uh, we, after we shot the movie, we had to do a couple reshoots, mm -hmm. right? And uh, one of the reshoots was the ending of the movie. So uh, well, like the, at the very end, like when like the happy ever after kind of ending. Yeah, when we find the treasure. Spoiler alert: we find the treasure, <laughs> and uh, my character jumps into this beautiful convertible Ferrari and drives and drives off. Yeah. I just hung out for a few months. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, probably uh, auditioned for some more movies. Went traveling, and uh, it was summer in New York, much like uh, a hot summer like this, Indian summer. And I was walking with my friends in the village past Astor Place Barbershop, which is this great old barbershop. And it, yeah, and uh, it's like a New York institution. I was like, it's so hot, let's shave our heads. I've never shaved my head before. Let's go, let's shave our heads. It's so fast. We asked her, so we go down, me and my buddies, we shave our heads, we go back up to the hot. I'm like, oh man, it feels so good. I'm, I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? I'm like, the reshoots were in like a week and a half. 
so for what, the movie. So I had to call the most powerful uh, producer of all time and tell him that I was the dumbest actor of all time. <laughs> is that what and this it, is? Because I've got this they, shot here. Is yeah. that what this is? What's that is a that is a wig. That is a full wig. <laughs> So I, you know, people you come up to me all tell. the time. Yeah, <laughs> people come up to me all the time and say, "Did you get to keep the Ferrari?" They're always like middle-aged yeah. dudes from from Brooklyn. Did you get to keep the Ferrari? And I'm thinking in that scene the whole time. I hope my wig doesn't fly off. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you're doing uh, the Good Fight here yep. on the CBS All Access. Yeah, and it's a great show. You so. Uh, season two is coming. So yep. it's coming down the pike. So you're playing a lawyer in here, kind I of am. love interest with Cush Jumbo, yeah, kind yeah. of a nemesis for Christine Baranski. Uh -huh. You know, acting and lawyering is somewhat alike, right? There are a lot of similarities, I think. I mean, you're both, you're effectively both trying to convince a group of people that you're telling the truth, right? Right. So, uh, you have I to mean, memorize a lot. You have to memorize some, you know, uh, lines or mm -hmm. the law. Um, and uh, I, I, have, I have a few friends that are lawyers in New York mm -hmm. and who I hung out with because I know nothing about the law, so I wanted to kind of research it. And a lot of these guys and, and women, they go to acting class to try to kind of, uh, you know, solidify their performance in the, in the courtroom. Uh, obviously, the, you know, the stakes are a little different. If you screw up as a lawyer, uh, someone could end up in jail or worse. And if you screw up as an actor, you end up in a $30,000 wig. So. <laughs> Well, you know who's got a law degree? What's that? Uh -huh. Paul Ryan. He sure does. Yeah. Well, lovely to meet you. Thank you Great so much for being you, here. The Good Fight is available now on CBS All Access. Justin Barth, everybody. We'll be right back with quantum physicist Brian Green. We're going to levitate.